God bless you. Is T.D. Jakes a man of God or a servant of Satan? Is he serving the devil now? Is Has he been of God and then deviated along the line? I really do not know, even though that somehow I'm very skeptical of the things I've seen of T.D. Jakes. Um, when being hosted like people, by people like uh, um, Oprah Winston, is it Oprah Winfrey, that woman? You know, he, his body language is the same thing with that of Joel Austin. And most especially when it comes to the discussion on LGBTQ, they are always in the middle. They have never had the boldness to say what the Bible says about that depravity. Now, somebody here, you can see a woman by my side to your the screen who has a message purportedly from the Lord. I'd like you to listen to her. She said God gave her a message for T.D. Jakes. And if you are a follower of T.D. Jakes, this may make you, uh, this may give you some kind of worry. But then at the same time, I'm not concluding anything, but I've just allowed the video to play. Hear the woman yourself. And what she said God showed her about T.D. Jakes. So over to you, prophetess. And unfortunately, I really do not know her name. So forgive me about that for that i don't know her name some of you may know her but this is what she has to say you are welcome to the end time truth television the channel for the lovers of truth for the truth of the end time so if you are a lover of truth give us a subscription and god bless you shalom Jakes, I say this to you, your time is come. You have served your purpose in the ministry and the days of your mourning are near. These are the words the Lord gave me. I'm speaking as if the Lord is speaking directly to his servant. They will make a mourning and a very great burning for you, but I say to you, a copper band you shall have. This is the fate of all who forsake the Lord. If you will not serve me, you will serve the devil, and the wages of sin is death. He is a Freemason. He is a death cult member. They harvest the souls of the faithful and offer them up on altars that are invisible to man. I am the Lord your God. What do you mean by this? What do you mean by hunting my people like wild deer? Thus says the Lord, the soul that sins shall die. And the scripture is this, Woe to shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord God of Israel against the shepherds who feed my people. You have scattered my flock, you have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for the evil of your doings. And so here, when the Lord is talking about Freemasonry, I don't need to go deep into it, probably because I've not taken the time to study this, but this is satanic worship of the highest and most prevalent kind. This is basically the foundation and the core values that the nation of America, at least, and many of the Western nations, rests on. When God says that someone is a death, death cult member and says that the souls of the faithful are being harvested and offering up, I will tell you what this means. It means that the pastor, the leader, the religious icon, whoever it is of a church, great or small, has joined a fellowship or a brotherhood where the payment, the currency, is people. You cannot pay your dues in a de death cult with money. You cannot pay your dues in a death cult with anything that is here in the tangible world you have to pay with intangible spiritual currency and the highest intangible spiritual currency the opposite in the satanic kingdom is blood if the blood of our dear lord jesus christ is the blood that redeems the entire world out of sin then know that the blood of one human sacrifice carries a smacking huge powerful move in the kingdom of darkness death cult pastors 
will join something and then it will be told well we're setting you up the foundation is three members it's not a lot and because you can spread those three members and give up their names to us over a period of six months to a year and since you want to grow rapidly and you want to have a lot of feedback happening death cult members will then offer up those three souls and usually they will be old people that nobody will miss but the toll of death cults keep rising and i know that the africans and people in south america are staring at me and nodding their heads satan is never satisfied he is a devourer and a destroyer when you join marine lodges when you join the mermaid kingdom when you join kingdoms that are in the air when you join the realm of the dead where they send you to do things like dig up dead bodies and have rituals with them that can include sexual activity the price the stakes go up consistently the more members you gain, the bigger fame and influence that you have, your price becomes very steep. This is what the Lord is saying, not only of this man, but many. T.D. Jakes is going to die and there is nothing anyone can do about it. This is the fate of all who forsake the Lord. If you will not serve me, you will serve the devil. And the wages of sin is death. He is a Freemason. He is a death cult member. They harvest the souls of the faithful and offer them up on altars that are invisible to man. I am the Lord your God. What do you mean by this? What do you mean by hunting my people like wild deer? Thus says the Lord, the soul that sins shall die. And the scripture is this, Woe to shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord God of Israel against the shepherds who feed my people. You have scattered my flock. You have driven them away and you have not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for the evil of... Oops. There you are, there you have the message. I'm not going to go into this, maybe to analyze what this lady has just said. She said the Lord told her, I do not know T.D. Jakes, other than the fact that I know him as one of those uh, prosperity preachers, uh, you know, who don't, um, who don't have the boldness to stand toe-to-toe -to, -toe to those who ask them about certain things. That God is against. They want to be, you know, um, they want to normalize everything. They want to be correct, you know, politically correct and religiously correct. So they don't want to be blamed by the world. And there are so many of us in that bracket. But as for going this deep and this extent, as per what this lady said here that the Lord told her, I am not going to say anything about it. I don't know, except you as a person know what i do not know and i'm not going to double into what i don't know one other thing i know is that now when i sound like this i'm not trying to sound like joel, uh, joel Osteen, who said he doesn't know much when asked about sin and he stand on you know the, the 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 abomination that is happening all over the world he said you know i don't know i don't know anything i don't know anything so i'm not sounding like him i'm not trying to sound like joel Osteen here it's a, it's a difficult subject. issue. I, I don't. I don't understand all the answers, and but I just come back to the what I read in the scripture. I can't ignore that. I don't. I'm saying it again. I don't know that I understand it all. I'm just trying to sound modest and be real and very, very factual about it. The only thing I know about him is that he is also like Joel Austin, standing, you know, in between lie and truth. And when you mix the the two together. It becomes very dangerous because you are not standing for the truth and you are not you know completely letting the world know who you are that you are standing for the falsehood and so those of them that want to be politically and religiously uh, religiously correct they don't want the world to call them out they don't want to you know be called a name uh, you know that is where i know him to stand but as for this other one i do not know but anyway, I, I know some of them, the stats were. No, but along the line, maybe their desires or they missed it and they joined bad company. As the Bible says that evil communication corrupts good manners. Now, that probably 
happened to many of them that they left their stream they left drinking off their stream the stream of the holy spirit and they begin to feast at the table of the wicked one and this is all uh you know that has been happening around so many many have been caged by association but i hope that um you know that the lord intervenes and may we not fall into the hands of the wrong people in the name of jesus christ if you know more than i do know please let us know in the comment section thank you so much and god bless you see you in the next video till then from me to you shalom